solve large intractable problems. It's a new venture altogether. Your brain is a wild horse there. Because remember, writing is not a team sport. You are not selling horse carriages when there are cars. I want to be known only as a trusted advisor. More like a tourist. Play to Potential Podcast. Okay, in this, in this uh, podcast series, uh, we'll get to the insights from the book you've recently published. But before that, we end up spending a lot of time on people's journeys and their choices. You mm-hmm. know, uh, So maybe just to give the listeners a sense of where you come from. Can you talk to us a little bit about your childhood and uh, how it shaped you? Okay. Um, I might be one of the few people around now whose childhood started in a joint family, mm-hmm. large house. Um, and my grandfather was very, very much into culture. Yeah, I think, you know, since you asked about what shaped me, I think that definitely had a huge influence. He was a very well-known author, uh, you know, in income tax and things like that. But his passion was to look at uh, artists, like Chempai Vaidyanath Bhagavatar was somebody whom he patronized. So we'd have a lot of concerts of uh, Chembai at home. There was a huge room in which people would gather and there were these concerts. Apart from that, uh, there was a person called uh, Sushila Achyutaraman who was distantly related to us and she was into Harikatha. So she would come off over and you know, recite the Maha, you know, the, the whole storytelling tradition. Na? Mm-hmm. And uh, that was one very strong thing I remember. Plus, I think uh, one of the things I go back to very often is my grandfather used to tell us stories. Mm-hmm. And he had a, you know, he would uh, read the Mahabharata or the Ramayana. And he would, uh, you know, recite some of those things, stop, tell us the meaning. And once in a while, he'll stop. And he'll tell you a self-reflective story, mm. right? So I distinctly remember when this whole thing about Sita and all that mm. came up. <clears throat> he actually wept and he said, you don't know, I've treated your grandmother badly wow. and things like that, right? So quite often nowadays, I wonder whether the way I teach is very much like that. It's very self-reflective. The book is also completely self-reflective and that's the whole journey so i don't know maybe that was a that was a big influence wow 